All right. A couple items of housekeeping. Um, this is the second week of our series on developing a positive relationship with stress. And I know we can all use a little bit of that, hopefully. Um, today's episode is about controlling what you can so you can put down the rest. And um, also, as usual, we have our online discussion board. If you have questions right now, feel free to break in on the Q&A or in the webinar chat and ask me. Um, if you think of something later or if you find a particularly helpful strategy that you would like to share with everybody, uh, please don't hesitate to put it on the discussion board so that we can continue our conversation there. All right, so controlling what we can, right? So this, yeah, last week I shared with you the metaphor about the riptide. And speaking of riptides, today we're gonna do an activity to help us determine what is and what is more importantly not ours to control so that we can put it down um, and continue with our day or our week, uh, hopefully without too much of a, um, an impact on our overall mood. Okay, so we're gonna do a stress inventory today and um, you can do this with us together. Uh, what we do to start it off is to make an uncensored, long list of what's bothering you and really truly don't organize don't edit don't censor it just take a moment here and write it down type it out in a note to yourself uh whatever works for you um put it all out there everything that's bothering you And the reason we want it to be uncensored at this point um, is just that, you know, part of the idea is that writing it down can sometimes be the intervention. So everything. Did you get stuck in traffic unexpectedly this morning? Um, you know, whatever is bothering you. Did you forget to turn a light off uh, and, and it's been bothering you? Um, so it can be big things and, and small things. And I truly hope your list isn't long, but I know that, that mine is a little bit today. So um, maybe that's why I put the long in there. The next step in this inventory then is to start to separate this now into buckets, right? So a bucket of things I can control which I represented with a little um, sort of sand pail here, and things I cannot control, which I represented with a little bit more of a, a cleaning or a throwing out type of bucket image here. The primary things you cannot control are other people, other people's feelings, thoughts, and actions. So as you look at that uncensored list and you're separating this into two buckets, think of that, right? Anything that has to do with another person goes in the cannot control bucket. And what we wanna do with that bucket of things that we cannot control is we want to release it. We want to throw it out. It's not yours to deal with. You cannot control it. Now, there may still be plenty of things that you can control in your sand pail over there. And that's okay. Because if you have control over it, then you can cope with it. You can do something about it it helps us to release. And Frozen, my niece is still into it. Every time I see this graphic, I get the song stuck in my head. So I do apologize if I've given you an earworm, but we want to let all those things you cannot control that bucket, we're letting it go. 
Some of the ways that we can do that are through the physiological sighing exercise that you've done with me um, uh, quite a few times in this setting. You can do some forced hyperventilation. Today, I'm just going to do good old fashioned box breathing with you. And I like to kind of trace a box in front of me as I do this. So inhale and move your hand up. Hold as you move it across, exhale back down, hold back across and draw a little box. We'll go again, inhale, hold, exhale, hold, one more time. Inhale, hold, exhale, hold, and return to breathing normally. The other way that we can sometimes let go of stress and, and the things we cannot control is through mindfulness. So being focused on the present, which is the only place, the only time you have any control over anything, become aware of the present, what is going on in this exact moment, and cope with that as you can.